Hi guys, today I'm making a combined video of how to make homemade rabbit treats, which was requested by Hamster Lover Forever One. And at the end, I'm also going to have other treats that you can use in replacement of making your own, which was requested by Louis Metzigu. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. So I found this recipe online. I just googled homemade rabbit treats and I found it on instructables.com. I'll post the link in the down bar below. So make sure that you check that out and I do not take credit for making this recipe myself. So this website calls for um, pellets and carrots and a banana, but I don't have any bananas right now so I'm going to try to make it with strawberries instead. I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but I guess we're going to find out. Alright, so the website called for two carrots, but all I had was baby carrots. So I'm using five baby carrots, and then I have about a banana amount of strawberries, frozen strawberries. It would probably be better to have fresh strawberries, but I didn't have any of those right now. If you're using the frozen kind, then you're going to want to make sure that it says no sugar added. Alright, so now while I wait for these strawberries to thaw out a little bit, it says to puree a cup of your bunny's food. So I'm using my Sherwood Forest Rabbit pellets, and I'm just going to stick it into the blender. Alright, now we can see if this will work. Now I'm going to take this bowl and put my pureed food inside of it. It isn't perfectly mashed up as you can see. There are there are like a few chunks in there. If you want to, you can put it back in the blender and blend it up a little bit better, but it's fine for me. Now we're still waiting for the strawberries to thaw a little bit more, so I'm just going to put them away while I cut up these carrots. Alright, so I washed these strawberries with some warm water to help them thaw out, and they're so mushy that I really don't think I need to cut them up, so I'm just going to put them in the blender. And then I'm going to put the carrots in the blender as well, but I'm not going to put all of them because I think I have too many. So after I put the strawberries and the carrots in, I had to add a little bit of water to mush, in it, mush it up a little bit more. And then I put the rest of the carrots in because it was a little bit too liquidy. And now I'm going to add it to my pellet mix. Now I've mixed my the amount of pellets that I wanted. I only ended up using about half of the mixture that I made and then all of the liquid. I even had to add a little bit more water because it got a little bit too hard. You just want to take a little bit. And I find that like in some places there are like chunks of carrot that didn't get um, cut up properly. So you can make those smaller like with your knife if you want to but you don't have to. I'm just going to make a little ball. I don't know if you can see this, but it's just a little ball. It's not focusing. And then put it on your cookie sheet. So I just took it out of the oven and I made some of these balls. And I also made a big piece, kind of, that I'm going to cut up. So these balls I put in for 30 minutes at 355 degrees or 180 degrees Celsius. And this part I put in for 35 minutes at that same temperature. And then I'm just going to cut it up into little squares. And I think you can probably tell that it's a little bit burnt at the edges here. But I don't think the bunnies will mind too much. Now I have like these little chunks with um, a few little balls in there and you should like cover it up in a container and refrigerate it just in case it is something that might grow mold. So 
So now I'm just going to be going over some options if you don't want to make your own rabbit treats. Um, the best kind of treat is fresh fruits and vegetables, but you can also get dried vegetables. Here I have a, tr a dried tropical fruit salad. Um, so it just has a whole bunch of different dried fruits in it. It has like papaya and kiwi and all that stuff in it. And then I have this dried veggie medley snack. So these are two good options to give your bunny for a treat. I hope this video was helpful for all of you today and thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe and keep sending in your video suggestions. Thanks for watching. Bye.